and this is my tag. Say hello to my tag, everybody. I just got a new suit, as you can see, for my birthday, and I have a new, like, little mini competition tomorrow. I'm not tomorrow, on Saturday. So let's just get rid of this thing. <laughs> okay, now let's get started. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a pullover. So there's three different ways. There's the kick one, the jump one, and then the pull one. The pull one, I think, is the hardest. So let me show you the kick one, that's the easiest. You just, woo, kick. There's like no need for form or anything, you just kick up into it. If you wanna look all pretty, then keep your legs straight and your toes pointed. Jump one is basically just jumping into it like, Then the pull one is the one I do. Is I pull up and to chin up, boom, and then pull over. Yay! So pretty much those are the three of them. And the first two one you don't really need to learn as much, but the third one you're gonna need to learn. To warm up with the pull, pull up, pull over, you're gonna do pull up, kick up, down. Do that like 10 times or so, and you'll get the muscle strength. So much old. Okay, then the next step is you're gonna practice kicking pullover actually. So you're gonna practice the second part of it. So you're gonna kick up like that. You're gonna like practice, like just keep doing that until you've got like the rhythm of pulling over around a circle. So by the way, this is how I learned it. So if you guys have any tips for me, then please comment below. So then you can mix those two together. Woo, fun! It's like sewing. Pull up. And bam! The next move we're gonna teach, I'm gonna teach you is the glide swing. This one's fairly simple. Some people find it hard, but I think this one's pretty simple. You have to make sure you have a hollow body. So you can practice hollow holds on the wall. I'm not gonna show you that right now because I don't have a wall, but it's pretty much just like holding a hollow body position in a handstand, or you can practice um, hollow holds. Like It's like this position on the ground and you hold it for 30 or a minute, however much you want to hold it for, and that basically helps you get your form and stomach muscles. So you're gonna start out with your hands up, then swing, and jump. So first you're gonna practice it like this. So I'm gonna put my hands up, swing, okay? Just get into the mode of being able to do that. And then you're gonna put your hollow body position into it. So then you'll swing, hollow. So you can practice just going like this. And you also want to put a lot of power into it so you can get your feet up like, bam, like really high. And then you'll stitch those things together and it'll end up like, yay! I'm just gonna go over like the little techniques, so. Jump, pull, land and be pretty. The next move is going to be the Shoot through into mill circle, cut back. That's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna easily get up on this floor, and then we're gonna start with the shoot through. Shoot through is the hardest part, I think, of the mill circle because you really have to know how to cast up into it. Woo! Normal casting goes out like that, but you don't want to do that. Like you really don't want to do that. That would hurt a lot. You'll bang your leg. You actually want to cast upward. So that's where the good hollow hold stomach muscles come in. Get your six pack now. So you're gonna go up and just practice casting up. Next, you're gonna practice sticking your leg through. What I did at home is I kind of just like practice getting my leg over the bar and getting the feel for it. So I'll go like, Hold it up here, like 
that. And then I'll kind of just like go over the bar a bit. That's how I practiced it at home. And then you can go up and you have to kick, stick your leg through as quick as possible. So like this. Yep. Now your leg can bend when you're putting it over the bar. Cause if you don't bend, you're gonna fall over. Once you've got the shoot through, you can do your mill circle. So, first, before starting the mill circle, you must practice this. You stick your leg over the bar, and then you press up. You have to practice these, because you're not gonna get the mill circle without the practice of these. Then you're gonna swing. Swing up. I can usually, you're some, you can like do it over and over, and pretty soon, you will get it to the point where you only have to do one swing and you're up. And that's when you're ready. So what I mean is, like, not doing two swings, but one swing. Like that, ooh, fun. And that's when you're ready to start. So never, ever do a mill circle with your hands this way. Believe me, I've learned the hard way. arms this way and you go up like this which is why you should have practiced that bam thing but this time it's this arm anyway you go up like this and you go out far you kind of look to the distance so I'm not gonna look at you guys for a second just for a second but I love your faces anyway you go up and bam it's gonna be like that so let me tell you something you don't want to do you don't want to do this Whee! Not very fun, and you don't want to do this. Whoa. Okay, I'm not gonna try that. And <laughs> you don't want to cross your legs like that, it's not fun. You want to keep your legs up straight, like this, go up, and pretty much just let your body take you the rest of the way. And now, we're gonna do the cut back. I'm still working on this, believe me, I kind of got it finally, but this one's hard. You have to have the right timing, and you have to have the right Bam, you gotta make it quick. So you're gonna go up, or you can go down. I think up is better though. But you're gonna go up, and then you're gonna put your leg side. But when once your leg touches your arm, you have to put your arm up, your leg will go over, then you hold the bar again. So it's like, like that, kind of. It's hard, very hard. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my technique. First, I practice it this way, you move your hand. Like that, bam. Then you just keep doing that. And then you can start, you don't have to go up yet. You can go like, like that kind of, like where you're, bam, like that. So then you'll be ready to go up like this. Ooh, fancy, fancy. So that's all I can teach you on those. Guys, if you have any awesome techniques that you could comment below about on the cutback. I would be happy to read those techniques because believe me, I'm struggling on that too. So please comment some awesome techniques. I would love to learn from you guys.